Greetings, everyone. My name is Morgan Shields, and the purpose of this short presentation is to introduce you to the Department of Kinesiology at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, to introduce some personnel, and give a general description of the undergraduate degrees that we offer. So first of all, this is me. I'm Morgan Shields. Here is my email address. Feel free to reach out with questions about anything in this uh, presentation. My current position is the undergraduate program coordinator, so this means that I teach a little bit in the department, I advise our students, and I'm involved in a lot of the program changes that happen across the, across the course of the semester. This was me as an undergraduate. Um, my degrees are in history, psychology, with a certificate in gender and women's studies. My master's is in kinesiology, and my PhD is in kinesiology as well, and I obtained that in the department here um, at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. So I have very strong feelings about Bucky. I have been here an awfully long time um, and I really enjoy interacting with students and teaching this topic. Uh, our other folks on our advising team are Nancy. She does not have a single picture on the entire internet. I could not find one. And this is Lisa Capabianca and she helps with all things dealing with course enrollment um, and program changes. So here's our team. Feel free to reach out if you have any other questions. The challenging part about this presentation is that we typically don't see students until they're juniors or seniors. So freshmen and sophomore students, you, will, you typically talk to the School of Education advisor about your liberal arts requirements. You then apply to our program and then we see you as juniors and seniors. So this presentation is just, let's define kinesiology, let's talk about some of your coursework and where you would go with a degree in this topic. So we spend a lot of our time, time trying to describe and explain what the heck kinesiology is as a field. So the definition is a discipline focused on the study of physical activity, exercise, or human movement. If we zoom out and think about kinesiology as a field, there are a couple different chunks of learning outcomes. And the one that I think our department does the best um, is think about the scientific foundations of physical activity. How do we understand that activity? How do we research that activity? How do we formulate those research questions? How do we interpret the data so that we can enhance the well being of our population? Across the board, the general subdivisions in kinesiology involve exercise physiology, motor behavior, biomechanics, exercise, and sports psychology. We're a very integrated field. We pull from lots of disciplines outside of our field. Uh, so, this we have to know a lot in order to understand this one health behavior. The mission of our department is to establish a tradition of excellence in developing independent and critical thinkers through effective instruction and active learning experiences in the theoretical and applied aspects of research in kinesiology. The ultimate goal is to prepare future leaders who meet the needs of society in health, physical activity, exercise, and movement. So in that vein, uh, here are our undergraduate degrees. So if you go to our website, the Academics tab, there's a drop-down menu here, there's undergraduate and graduate programs. Here's a screenshot of our undergraduate programs. Um, our BS, Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, is actually transitioning to a master's program, so it is no longer available. Um, but I will talk about our other majors. So we currently offer three Bachelor of Sciences. The first is Exercise and Movement Science. That is our largest major. Um, and that's generally where I do most of my advising and most of my work here. So the rest of this presentation will be focused primarily on this major. We also have a health promotion and health equity major, which I'll talk more about in just a second, and a physical education and teacher education major. We also have two new certificates, the Promoting Activity and Diverse Abilities Certificate started in the fall of 2019, and this new Athletic Health Care Certificate will start the fall of 2020. There's more information about both of those certificates on, the, on our website, so check those out if you have questions. A little bit more about our other majors. So the Physical Education Teacher Education Program is coordinated by Cindy. Here's her email. It's um, a wonderful program, generally smaller class sizes, a lot of good instruction and opportunities for learning. Um, Cindy is a wonderful, enthusiastic instructor, great at communication, so please reach out to her if you've got questions about that program. Our health promotion and health equity major, um, our full-time advisor there is Zoe Hurley, so if you have questions about that major, please reach out to her. This is a collaboration between kinesiology, rehab, psych, and special ed, and counseling psych, all departments within the School of Education. 
focused on how do we talk about behaviors related to health promotion and health equity in a grand scale. So it's an exciting major, um, brand new. We've got a couple graduates this past spring, um, and Zoe would be the person to contact for more information. The exercise and movement science, our largest major, also EMS, called EMS, um, generally has 100 students per year, and they start as juniors. So this is the major where you'll do, you would do freshman, sophomore year, pursuing your liberal arts, um, consult with your school of ed advisor, fill out an application, and then start your junior and senior year uh, for four more semesters with us. We, um, as part of this major, we have a science core. Most of that will be taken before you join us your junior year, um, but things like the anatomy and the physiology classes, which we also teach, uh, would be taken your junior year. Those are big enrollment courses. Students generally really love those. They, they build the foundation of your knowledge about the human body, um, and they're very well taught. Then you have a kinesiology core, and this is, involves those um, subdisciplines, so exercise psychology, motor behavior, exercise physiology, biomechanics. Those classes are typically about 60 students. They're offered both semesters. They're taught by our faculty who are wonderful instructors and also doing front line cutting edge research in their labs. In addition to these cores, we have 11 credits of electives. So that's about four classes that you would need to take related to whatever you're interested in. And these courses um, range from strength and conditioning, nutrition, leadership, advanced exercise, physiology, things like that. Uh, and then there's also a communications B requirement, a class that's heavy reading and writing within our discipline. So those three courses include a sociocultural aspects of physical activity, um, physical activity and health from an epidemiology perspective and advanced exercise psychology. So that's your coursework. Uh, if you have questions about any of that, feel free to shoot me an email and I can get you some more information. I want to highlight our, our research just a little bit because, again, I think this is something that our department does particularly well in addition to undergraduate education. So our faculty members um, have a bunch of different research labs, and this is all on our website if you want more information. But we have three faculty in exercise physiology. We have two faculty in exercise psychology. This is the lab, um, exercise psychology. That's where I got my PhD, um, looking at brains and physical activity. Motor behavior, neuromuscular uh, coordination, physical activity, epidemiology, and Wisconsin injury and sport. And that's this lab here. That's Dr. Bell. Um, they collect a lot of really cool things and um, contribute to our understanding of kinesiology in many profound ways. One of the other questions that I think students and parents have, uh, other than what is kinesiology, is what do I do with a major in kinesiology? So specifically, our exercise and movement science students. Again, we have cohorts of about 100 students, so at any given time we have 200 students. And of the students that graduate, we send them an exit survey and ask them some questions. So according to their responses, about 42% of our exercise and movement science apply to graduate school directly after graduating with their exercise and movement science major. Of those 42%, 86% report being accepted to a program. And the other half, about 51%, plan to apply to graduate school in the future, but they're just not quite ready. So that means that they either take a gap year or they work for a year or they just take time off because um, they need a break. Of those 42% that apply right after graduating, most of our students are interested in physical therapy as a profession. So that chunk is um, applying to doctorate of physical therapy programs all across the country. This is the website for the um, doctorate of physical therapy here at University of Wisconsin-Madison, located in the School of Medicine and Public Health. About 7% apply to physician assistant programs, 5% apply to medical school, and this quarter apply to others. So that could include advanced degrees in nursing, master's of PhD in public health, master's of PhD in, in kinesiology, or PhDs in occupational therapy. So a wide range of uh, graduate programs, our students are well prepared to enter and succeed in those. About 7% of our students report having jobs right after graduation, and I think these jobs reflect their inherent interest in helping people. So they range from personal trainers, certified nursing assistants, 
research specialists, AmeriCorps scribes, rehabilitation aides, caregivers, financial counselors, water skiers, uh, strength and conditioning, and coaches. So there's a good variety of jobs that you are well prepared to apply for and get. And just my last slide here, um, the common question that I have or I get from incoming students or interested students are, we've mentioned applications a couple times, what do those look like? Uh, how many are there? It, it depends. Sometimes we have 150 applicants, sometimes we have 100 applicants. Um, the application itself requires a little bit of writing and some letters of rec, and we review your transcripts. So it's a, a holistic approach to understanding who you are as a student. Class sizes are relatively small. When we think about other kinesiology programs across the Big Ten, for example, we are on the smaller side. We have a pretty good ratio of students to faculty, and I think that lends itself well to um, enhancing the undergraduate experience. We have wonderful people all the way from our faculty to our staff to um, folks that are helping advise. So it really is a great environment that facilitates learning on lots of different levels. And then there's um, cool places to get involved with things that are outside of the academic setting. So we have a Kines Club um, and a, some other really cool student organizations to join. Up here, I just have the School of Education advising website. So if you have questions about some of the liberal arts or general credit requirements, they are gonna be a wonderful resource. Here's also the website for the Center for Pre-Health Advising. They're gonna know more about your specific graduate programs if you're thinking about that. So PT, PA, MD, OT, uh, how do I get my resume started? What kind of experiences should I get to make myself a better applicant? So they're also a really great resource. Okay, so I think that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to keep it short and exciting. Um, feel free to email me with questions and hopefully I answered some of those in this very quick um, but short presentation. And I hope we'll get to see you at some time, some point in the future.